Good Saturday morning and welcome to another edition of the award-winning Outdoors with Larry Ray on 790 The Bet. Brought to you proudly by the Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency. Now here's your host, Larry Ray. It's calling you. All right, good Saturday morning uh, as Don King sings and Brad Carson pushes all the buttons. Filling in for... Our wonderful Shelby McCall, who is still ill, and we appreciate Brad. And, and I don't know if y'all, you, everybody needs to be on Facebook with Brad and watch his posting on 929 every day. What's your name, your dog? What's your dog's name? Peach. Let me turn my microphone That's on. Peach, it is right? Peach. Peach is my uh, lovely Labradoodle. That's actually my wife's best friend. But, but you I, had on your hook hat <laughs> yesterday. You had your hook I hat did, on. And, uh, thanks to Ron Wong for the hook hat, my official, <laughs> unofficial, official sponsor over there. Yeah, uh, Ron yeah. has got his hook shirt on this morning, Bill. Yeah. So yes. we're ready to go. And Bill Cooksey joins us. Ron Wong joins us. Good morning, Ron. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Larry. Good morning, Brad. It's a beautiful Saturday morning here in Memphis, Tennessee. Yes, this is this is for Saturday, which means uh, bonus Wong. And uh, good to have Ron in. And, of course, it's also good to have Bill Cooksey in with us. Good morning, Bill. Morning, Larry, and morning, everybody. I, I'm just proud to be in the mix here. You're in the mix. You're <laughs> definitely in the mix. Uh, and uh, you are home, right? I mean, you're not on yes, the road. Sir. I'll be. I, I am home, but I, I am uh, getting my stuff together because Tuesday I'm headed out to Louisiana to get after some teal. Okay. Well, I, right. I just want to make sure you weren't in Benjamin. But what was it, Benamaji, the Minnesota for uh, a, a glow was going on up there? Yep. Yeah, and I said, my Bill may be up there. I, I'm not up there, but uh, fun <laughs> show today. Fastest 90 minutes in outdoor radio program, and do appreciate Brad helping us out with this and wishing that uh, Shelby uh, gets well and gets back with us as soon as possible. But uh, so much stuff going on. This is National Hunting and Fishing Day. Uh, if y'all folks out there did not know that, been around since 1971. One of the big sponsors of that, of course, our good friends at Bass Pro and uh, Johnny Morris and all of those people. Uh, a lot of hunters and anglers out there today on National Hunting and Fishing Day. And it is opening day for the bow season in Tennessee. All right. Opening hey. day for the bow right, season. Y'all, y'all go out there and <laughs> shoot those deer. Yeah, well, get, get them out this, off the water. Is that what you're saying, Ron? So uh, I um, didn't say that. Yeah, you were thinking about that. And also yeah. today. <laughs> Larry, the important thing is <laughs> what? the important thing is squirrel season is open. The squirrel oh, season wow. is open. Nothing like some fried that is squirrel true. And, and, gravy and biscuits. Yeah, and, <laughs> and, and also don't forget that uh, – Today is a world championship of catfishing over at Pickwick. And yes, all the is. good folks with J.R. Sweat and all those guys, you can uh, uh, go to Crump, Tennessee, on the TWRA ramp on Old Ferry Road. Uh, that's where they'll be blasting off and taking care of everything. But that's today at Pickwick. Uh, so many things going on. And a show uh, we've kind of we've given you a little fishing tips we got some great guests. I'm really looking forward to the fishing side of this. And then we're going to sneak in uh, my deer processor, uh, who's got the greatest name for a deer processor than I can think of. That's Dave Payne and Melissa Payne out in Galloway, Tennessee, right down the road from Slingshot Charlie's Restaurant. All right. And it's Pipe Dream Farm Butchery. And they don't just do deer. They do goats. They do hogs. They do uh, they do beef and everything. And uh, had a chance to finalize uh, that they will again be outdoors with Larry Ray's uh, deer processor. And then uh, special guest at the end, right, uh, Bill Cooksey? Yes, sir. We, we have a special guest at the end, and the duck hunters are going to want to stay tuned to kind of hear what he has to say. I'm looking forward to a little duck talk at the end today because uh, we – and I've got some, I don't know if you've heard, Bill, what reports were from the early wood duck season and teal season. Uh, I heard they killed a few up in real foot, which they normally do. But I Normally do. Yeah, but I haven't heard, um, you know, I used to go to that thing, and that's the, that's the one I almost died at, you know, when I thought I'd gotten bit <laughs> by a snake and it turned out to be Johnson grass. But, you know, <laughs> it's, it's hard to... Uh, you know, you're hunting in, in some really warm weather normally, uh-huh. but I think we're, Bill, you may know this, we're, we're only like one of three states that have grandfathered yeah, in for this uh, season. Uh, 
the the wood duck season now now tons of states have teal season. Yeah, but the wood duck um, season, all, yes. All, yeah. The only states with a wood duck season in September are uh, Tennessee, Kentucky, and Florida. That's what I thought. Yeah, and, and we yeah. went through a very very extensive testing process. Yes, to be allowed to do that. Yeah, and we also give up a lot of teal season days where other states, I think, right now get. I want to say 15 days yeah, to yeah. teal hunt. Yes. We basically get about, I think, five days to uh, uh, wood duck and teal hunt, and then maybe three more to teal hunt. Yeah, I um, think it is that. And, of course, it's all it's always in the real foot area. You know, I mean, uh, that's well, the, it's all, the whole state. I know, but that's the hot spot. I mean, you know, yeah. I mean, I, I think it is. Maybe it's not, but I don't uh, I, 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 I like real foot. You know that, um, but but – Frankly, the teal. Yeah, uh, you're better off in a more uh, uh, typically better off uh, in this region hunting in a more ag type setting, but with water, which can be tough. <laughs> but yeah. if you can get a little bit of water out in a harvested rice field in late yes. August, early September, um, or like where I hunted uh, uh, last week in West Tennessee, uh-huh. they just happened to catch some water off of one of these storms that came through in August. And beautiful stand of smart weed, big wide open area, and and we were able to teal hunt and do pretty well. So, um, but real foot is a, a great place. Wood to duck, go, and I've wood spent duck, a whole uh, lot of uh, yeah. wood duck and teal seasons up there. Yeah, who hasn't? Uh, early wake up calls and, uh, and so so much going on, and we've got uh, the, the jam pack show. I, I'm really looking forward to this first guest, Ron. I know you are because. You were down in Hot Springs, Arkansas Spent recently. Spent about three, four days with him. And uh, tell, us, tell us who this surprise guest is. not going to be a surprise. I mean, he wears a cowboy hat. Come on. Good grief. Joey C. Fuentes. Yes, yes. And he's He is quite a uh, young angler, pro- professional angler, now fishing on the BASS uh, Elite Tour and doing very well. Very well. How about rookie of the year? I well, mean, I mean, he only won that. two blue trophies. Yeah, he won two blue and, trophies, uh, and uh, I got to tell you, he's uh, quite a gentleman and an uh, ambassador, uh, isn't he? I mean, he uh, really is. He's really good for the sport, and he's one of those young, young fishermen that are that is going to help grow the fishing industry. And I look forward to talking with him. He's a great guy. We're gonna. We've had him on before. Oh, we've and, had him uh, on. He's a great guest. Of course, he super. is. He is. Where's he from, Ron? You know where he's from, Ron? Uh, he's here. from Clinton, Arkansas. That's right. Uh, he's. Uh, he's. Yeah, you thought I didn't know. Yeah, did God's you? country. Right? And, and by the way, I didn't look that up. No, you didn't. I didn't no, Google no, that. No, no, no. So uh, him and then at least he's from Arkansas, and I want to know how he keeps the hat on when he's running the boat. Uh, well, he takes boy. it off. He takes and, you it know, off. Well, yes. Well, in okay. the Pan Am games. Yeah, he had. To he take actually it off. had what the you? U.S. Angling logo oh, put yeah. on to his, <laughs> on his cowboy straw hat. hat. Straw hat. Straw hat. Uh, mm. On his uh, cowboy yeah. hat. Yes. He looked good in it, too. And, of course, he goes by <laughs> the, the nickname Cowboy. Then we're going to talk to Lisa Talmadge. Uh, she is the BASS Elite Series Tournament Director. That's right. You heard it right. The first woman, right, Ron? Yes. To ever be a major she does a great job. Uh, fishing circuit uh, uh, tournament director. We're going to talk to her. A young man out of Paris, Tennessee, uh, recently won the two-day uh, Major League Fishing Phoenix Bass Fishing League Tournament on, out of Pickwick, Ayuka, uh, 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 Mississippi. That's Jake yep. Lawrence. He's all excited. Then we'll talk uh, with Dave Payne about getting your deer ready to be processed this year. And then the surprise guest at the end, then we'll let Cooksey handle that later on. But I know a lot of you folks out there right now are waiting for what you know comes on the fourth Saturday, first segment, (laughs) every month. The man himself over there with his hook shirt on is going to give us the best fishing report of anyone on radio, anyplace else. And that's Ron Wong. He has no notes. Hadn't even got his pen in his hand. It's all going to come in from that uh, Westwood High School bra- uh, saxophone band uh, player. Uh, tell us, Ron. Hey, the fishing is really getting good. The surface temperatures around our area lakes now are falling into the low 80s. 
high 70s uh, with the cooler nights, and so that means all the fish are moving shallow because that's where the shad are going, and yes. that's yep. that's the lunch truck for the all, lunch. whether <laughs> whether it's yeah. crappie yeah. or bass or catfish, it, it makes no difference. But let's start out with the Tennessee River, Kentucky yeah, Lake, let's hear it. Uh, Pickwick Lake. Right now, those fish are starting to move off of the ledges onto the deep grass along the banks uh, where you're sitting in 8 to 10 feet of water throwing 1.5 or 2.5 <laughs> uh, KVD square bill crankbaits, especially in a shad color. That's it. Or if it's what? cloudy, throw a buzz toad. Oh, buzz toad. They are catching wow. them on a yeah. buzz toad. And also uh, yeah. the, a fluke. A fluke. Just a fluke okay. with a extra wide gap hook, no weight, and pulling it through the grass. And uh, the fish are biting real good, both on Kentucky Lake and What about the uh, Mississippi Pickle Lake? Lake. What about on the them? Mississippi uh, Lakes, the bass are starting to bite good. They're moving in on to the secondary points off of the main lake on the main um, uh, creeks, yep. uh, like Clear Creek at Sardis and um, Billy's Creek there and Enid. Yeah. But what they're doing now is what a pure poison in a shad color will catch them really, Ooh, really good. Pure poison. Uh, three eighths or a half ounce. Okay. It makes no difference. They're also eating topwater baits real good. A sexy dog or a whopper popper I will work real, real good. And and I got to tell you, what? and once the sun comes up good, yeah, they're eating a seven inch cutter worm or a 10-inch thumper worm, Texas-style, uh, in a green pumpkin color or a June bug color worm. They're biting those real well. Crappie fish? Yeah, what about crappie? Hey, yeah. Here they are catching them yeah. uh, really good. They're starting to move a little bit shallower. Uh, they're still use, They're still power trolling, power trolling, but they're not moving quite as fast. They're moving about 1.4 to 1.5 miles an hour <laughs> wow. using a... Uh, Fin spin with a slab curly on it, especially black and orange is a good color right now. And I got to tell you what? something: uh, they're fishing over twelve to fifteen feet deep, fishing about eight feet deep. Okay, and that's how those fish are being caught. Also, a double minnow rig, uh, drifting about point seven, point eight mile an hour will catch those big crappie. How about that? Wow. Uh, Brad Carson, you hear that? I that mean, was, I, I really <laughs> loved the crappie report. Yeah, it's a, he's amazing. Yeah, uh, he is. A, he's a wordsmith, too. Yes, yes. And, and he keeps it all in thought, you know. And he knows I'm... It's, a, it's an incredible thing. Way, you know what? What? For all of you all of you fishermen out there, yes. horseshoe like bass fishing is getting really good. Ooh, there there horseshoe. Getting really okay. good. Um, yeah. uh, a buzz toad early in the morning around the outside edges of the cypress trees, especially yeah. Around Happy Jack. Oh, yeah. And uh, if they're not biting that, a Texas rig game hog and a June bug color will catch them. And wow. I, I know Cooksey's listening to uh, Kentucky Lake. He wants to know what's going to happen up there. What's going on? Uh, those, those crappie are biting okay, Bill. right now. Really? Yeah. Uh, in brush piles about 12. 10 to 12 feet deep okay. on the brush piles. And, okay. You know, those are pretty well marked. Uh, there are a lot of waypoints there uh, online that you can go to the brush piles there. We got a lot of, uh, you go to LarryRay.com. Uh, we've got a lot of fishing reports on there from our good friend Steve McAdams. We got the trout fishing reports. Uh, we've got them all, but you won't get a better one than that from Ron Wong when he does stuff like that. And I know Cooksey was writing all that down, I know, because he's <laughs> got squirrel hunters going on. He's, he, Bill's he, got, <laughs> yeah, Bill's got have, hunting on Yeah, the Bill's got now. a lot of things on his mind right well, now. See, I'm, I'm, I'm going squirrel hunting because Ron just let me know those crappie are four feet deeper than I mess with crappie. So you know, I've got to cool a little bit more. And between now and the next show, they'll probably get shallow enough that I'll That's go try. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right, yeah. let's take our first break in the morning, come back, and we're going to talk outdoors on the fastest 90 minutes in outdoor radio programming right here on AM 790 in Memphis, Tennessee. We'll be right back. 